As you just saw, this boat works both on land and on water. And the great thing about this is that I made it as cheap as possible and super easy to build. Let me take you through how I built this myself and how you can too. So if you've ever seen an airboat or a swamp boat, this is basically that, just shrunk down like 50 times. It's pretty much just a brushless DC motor, a servo, and a propeller, other than the speed controller and stuff like that, but we'll get into that later. I'm using Fusion 360 to design this boat, and I want it to look good, but also work well and be easy to print without any supports. Okay, this looks like a good prototype. Let's slice it up and print it out. Now that that's started, we can test all our electronics to make sure they work before we put them in the boat. So here's the system. We've got a 1400 kV brushless motor connected to its speed controller, which powers the receiver that controls both the servo and the propeller, and then the battery plugs right into the motor speed controller to power everything. All right, let's plug in our seven to 12 volt battery. This one's nine volts. Motor works. Servo works. Let's check on the print. Somehow the propeller guard released from the build plate, so it got a little weird, but it should be okay as a prototype. Seems to be watertight at least. Alright, made some changes, added some color. So that's not good. I designed this way too short and too shallow in the water, so as soon as I would accelerate, the nose would go underwater, uh, causing terrible things to happen. So I changed a lot here. I made the boat longer, wider, deeper, more accessible, and much simpler to put together. And now you don't have to unscrew eight screws to change the battery. Okay, looking good, let's print it out. So while that's printing, I think I'll give the bottom a quick spray of clear coat. The boat should be watertight on its own, depending on the quality of your printer, so you shouldn't really have to do this, but I am just to be safe. All right, all the parts are finished. If you'd like to know exactly how to build this, there's a detailed assembly video available on my Patreon in the description. I think it looks great. Let's put it in the water. This thing can actually go pretty fast. It's also got a decent range of a little over 450 feet. So if you want to build this yourself, links to all the parts, filament, and printers I used are in the description. And again, if you'd like a detailed instruction video, it's available on my Patreon. Or if you'd just like to support my projects, you can join my Patreon community with the link in the description. And if you like this project, please subscribe for more build videos. Thanks, see you next time.